guys, Angel here. So today I want to talk to you about the power of your words. This is so huge. And if you get this, you will get a chance to change your entire life while you are still living and breathing. So yesterday my daughter came home from work and me being her mother, she this is all that she hears is the power of your words and this is the way that we actually live our life. So watching our words. So my daughter came home from work yesterday and she was like, mommy, you really have to watch yourself. Like you really have to monitor yourself. She said, because it's easy to slip into the uh, language that most people talk. So she said that her, um, one of her coworkers had said something and said something about maybe like a mistake or something that she had made. And it was Monday and Kier chalked it up to what everybody always says, oh, don't worry about it. It's Monday. And Kier said when she said that, she caught herself and she retracted and she took it back because she realized that, wait a minute, I don't feel that any particular day feels a certain way. Every day is the same. It's all in the meaning that you give it. And she recognized that and took that back. Now, what I want to share with you guys is this. Say if you and your friend are getting ready to, I don't, you're getting ready to cross the street and she says, oh girl, I hope I get hit by a bus walking across the street. You would be like, don't say that. Don't say that. You would like get on her so bad and say, and tell her not to say, I'm going to get hit by a bus. But if that same girlfriend said to you, girl, I am just broke. I, I this job ain't paying me nothing. You would be quick to say, yeah, me too, girl. Me too. This company, they don't pay anything. You automatically agree with that, not realizing that the words that you're speaking saying, I'm, I hope I get hit by a bus versus saying that this job isn't paying me anything. I'm unable to make my, um, to pay my bills one time because this company doesn't pay enough. And you agree with that. It's the same amount of power that you are trying to stop her from saying she hopes she gets hit by a bus than to say this company doesn't pay me instead of saying I how can I increase my value as a person to either add more to this company to go up higher in this company or how can I add value to other people and become an entrepreneur you have to to watch your words. Your words are literally creating every single second of your life. Doug and I talk about this all the time because before we moved into this house, we spoke it for years. For years, we said, I want a house that we wanted a house. At first, Doug wanted a house that was like off into the woods and like deep, deep down in the woods. And I'm like, whoa, I need some neighbors. I need to be able to at least see the people. I don't, you know, necessarily need them right next to me, but I at least want to see some other um, houses and things around us. So we started saying we wanted a house that had a good bit of land and that it was off the street somehow, not deep down in the woods like Doug originally wanted, like a lot of his friends live in houses like that, gorgeous houses like that. Um, but we said, I want it off the beating path. That is literally what we have. Doug also spoke that he wanted a garage. He wanted a shop. No, he didn't say garage. He said shop. He always said he wanted his own shop. He's got his own shop. Like everything that you are speaking, you are creating. Before I ever started speaking, before I ever started having clients in my coaching practice, I would say I have so many clients. I have clients calling me from all over the world when I had two clients at the time, but that's what I was speaking because that's what I wanted. That's the vision that I knew that God implanted in me. So I was aligning my words with the vision that God had implanted in me. So watch 
your words. I don't care if you feel like crap, if you don't feel like getting up to go work out or go, whatever your goal is, I want you to speak life into it, regardless of how you are feeling. That's the key. A lot of us allow our feelings to dictate our words. So if we wake up and we feel kind, kind of lousy, we'll wake up and say, oh goodness, this is just going to be one of those days. Oh God, this is going to be one of those days. I can already tell what kind of day this is going to be. No, when you wake up feeling lousy, that your opportunity to speak life into your day, to speak life into your life, literally. So watch your words. They are creating your life. They have an energy, they have a vibration attached to them that either make you feel good or make you feel bad. That's how you can always detect how, why your mood is the way that it is. Watch what you have been, if you're feeling like crap right now while you're watching this video, I just want you to think about what you've been talking about for the past couple days. Just for the past seven days, I want you to think about what kind of conversations have you been having either with your children, with your spouse, with your coworkers, with the lady at the, um, at the grocery, grocery store, I want you to think about what you have been talking about. If you're feeling crappy, I can guarantee you these past couple days you have been talking crap. Talking crap. If you're feeling crappy, that means you're talking crappy. Other than the fact that you may be physically ill or sick, that's not what I'm talking about. So I want, and even in that, actually, hold up now. <laughs> even in that situation, when you are sick, you can speak life into yourself. So I really, I, excuse me. So I really want you guys to monitor your words. And let me tell you this. When I first started this journey of self-discovery and living my purpose and tapping into really what God created Angel Richardson to be, when I learned the power of your words, in the beginning, I used to wear a rubber band around my wrist. And when I had the rubber band on, I would wear it every single day. And every time I would catch myself saying something negative, like I remember always complaining about gas, gas prices. And like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, just when I think about the stuff that I used to complain about and talk about as if it was such a negative thing, like it was so much bigger than me. And a lot of times that's how we view our problems, that they're so much bigger than ourselves. When we are so much bigger than it, we have the power to create whatever it is that we want in this lifetime using our words. So every time I spoke something negative, I would take that rubber band and pop it. I would just pop myself every single time. And eventually after keep popping yourself, you what that does is it makes you become more aware because a lot of us are just loose lips and we are just just talking, just to hear ourselves talk. <laughs> talking just because because we don't like to sit in a silent space, in a quiet space, so we want to fill that silence with words. And so as a consequence, we just start talking a whole bunch of rubbish, a whole bunch of dumb stuff that's creating the dumb stuff that keeps showing up in our lives. So I want you to watch your words for the next seven days and even use that technique. Get a rubber band tied around yourself. This is if you are serious. This is only if you are 100% committed to being the woman that God has called you to be. If you are serious about being the woman that God has called you to be, you, are, you will be at a place where you will do anything. You will do anything that you hear someone say that is um, where you want to be or you see the fruits in their life and you look up to them, who, whomever that is, if that's me, if that's Iyanla, if that's Oprah, if that's whomever, whoever it is that you look up to and they have the fruits in, in their life that you want to experience, do what they say. Actually do it. Put it into play. You will change your entire life when you change the words that you speak out of your mouth. I absolutely love you guys. If you are new to me, if you just found me, if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and so you don't miss any more juicy videos from me. And don't forget to thumbs up this video and I will see you guys in the next video. I absolutely love you guys. Bye.